Hello, this is Carmen with the Singer Featherweight Shop and April1930s.com. Today I want to talk to you about the gib hook for the Singer Featherweight. We get a lot of requests for these here in the shop and so I thought I'd do a little tutorial to show you how to replace it. This is the gib hook here. It's a little half moon shaped piece. And here it is on the hook assembly itself. The gib hook is held on with two screws, one on the front and one on the back in this recessed hole here. In order to get to this one on the back, it is required that the hook assembly come completely off the machine. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'll also show you how to put it back together and keep the machine in time. The first thing that must happen is you need to remove the drip pan off the bottom of the machine. Set it aside. And then you can see this rectangular hole here. This is inside here. There's two screws. These two screws are right here and right here. It's what holds the hook assembly onto this shaft, the main shaft that drives through the machine. In order to remove those, it's important that you use a screwdriver with the proper size head for the, the screw itself. Otherwise, you'll end up damaging the head, especially if the screws are difficult to remove. Once the screws are loosened, and I've already done that for the video here, the hook assembly will slide straight off the machine. Once you have the hook assembly off the machine, it's very easy to remove the gib hook by undoing these two screws here. The screws are very tiny, so maybe put them in a little dish or on a magnetic uh, pin holder or something. Often with this one on the back, you have to tap it on the table to, to get it to come out. <clears throat> but once the screws are out, the gib hook will open up and is removed very easily. To replace it with the new gib hook, you need to put it on at the back first and insert the, the back, the screw that's from the back, you need to put it in there first. It takes a little while to line up the holes just perfectly. Once you have the holes lined up, you can reinsert the screw and go ahead and tighten it all the way down. Then close the gib hook. The other hole will line up perfectly once the back one's already been done. This one should go in with no problem. Okay, the hook assembly is now ready to be put back on the machine. And this is really an easy process and there's only one thing to keep in mind. This shaft that runs throughout the machine here has a flat spot out here on the end. That flat spot is for one of these screws to press up against. It will keep the, uh, the hook assembly from rotating and from slipping on the, on the shaft and your machine losing time. You may be wondering, okay, there's two screws and one side that's flat. Which one goes against the flat spot? Well, it's really pretty simple. This point right here on the hook assembly, this is actually the hook itself. The point of the hook, this is what goes through the loop at the eye of the needle every time your needle goes through the fabric, and that's what helps form the stitch. This hook right here is pointing at this screw. This screw is the one that goes on the flat spot. So you simply slide it on, make sure it goes on all the way, and then tighten that screw down first. Rotate the hand wheel until you can see the other screw, and then tighten it. Then I would come back and re-tighten them with a larger screwdriver, but there's no need to over-tighten them. Now your machine is automatically back in time and is ready to sew. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can contact us through our website, singer-featherweight.com or april1930s.com. And you can also chat and interact with us and other featherweight owners on our Facebook group. This can be found by doing a search in Facebook for Singer Featherweight 221 and 222 sewing machines.